MLB The Show's coverage of minor league baseball is on the air as we continue our tour around the minor league. Tonight, an intriguing matchup between the Biloxi Shuckers and their rivals just across the border in Tennessee, the Chattanooga Lookouts. And before we progress any further, let's have a quick look at our two starting lineups for tonight. And let's also get a brief look at our two starting pitchers as you see how they stack up right there. Catfish Brown will stand in for the first time here. He's got that average up over 340 here entering play. First offering on the way. And a bouncing ball foul. Foz now the pitch. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. E.K., we take a look at the home nine as they take the field here tonight. It was another loss for them last time out, and that makes them 2-8 and eight over their last 10 games. And that last loss was one of those games that you hate to lose. It, it really could have gone either way, but for our sake, I hope we get another close game like that here. As a hitter, when you're not catching up to the fastball, you're physically fine. A lot of times that means your problem is you're indecisive. You're not sure what you're trying to do at the plate. You're not confident. You're not trusting your ability. Right now, it's more mental than it is physical. Adam Burr will stand in now, and he'll likely have a look down to third to see if anything's up here with nobody out. One, two. And this is popped high in the air toward the left side. Brown is under it, and he's got it for the first down. If you can learn to control that changeup and put it where you want to, you're going to get a lot of these. That's a good pitch there. Catfish Brown will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. Catfish Brown. Come on, baby, get your pitch up there. Now the first pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. And no, they can't get there. Now here it comes. Here's a ball swung on and lofted in the air out toward right center. He'll put it away without much trouble, and the leadoff man is retired here in the fourth. Yeah, that's just a good pitch right there. That's a two-seam fastball working its way back inside, and he's probably fortunate he didn't break his bat. He winds up hitting this one right down there on the label, and he's retired. Russell Birch will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. Now here's the pitch. Breaking ball is swung on and bounced to short. On to first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. The right fielder, number 10, Billy.
Julian Ramirez come forward now. He's popped out and struck out in his first two plate appearances. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Changed up on him here, and this is grounded to short. And he's retired one away. Now batting. Left fielder, Brandon Catfish Brown will stand in for the third time now. Still without a hit, so that streak could be in a bit of jeopardy. And I think that's in the back of his mind, but it's not something he's really focused on. He just wants to get up there and put a good swing on the ball. Hey, get your pitch up there. Hey, see it. Drive it. Here's a look over to first. Back in standing. First pitch coming. Oh, and a hearty cut there to begin the at-bat. It's nothing in one. Not too many strikeouts on the ledger for him so far, but it hasn't really mattered. Yeah, I think ideally you'd like to see him miss a few more bats, but as long as you're keeping guys off balance and you're letting your defense help you, you don't need to strike a ton of guys out to be successful. And make it an even 10 games in a row he's hit in now as that bat has really come alive of late. Jason Rogers will dig in for the third time now. He's struck out and bounced out in his first two trips. And yeah, we see a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen up in the bullpen. First pitch here misses wide, 1-0. Low-scoring game thus far, 2-1 to one here in the sixth. The 1-0 pitch. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Now the one and one pitch. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. Here comes a 1-2. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Here comes a 2-2. And now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at 2-2. Two and two. Another 2-2. Two, two. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, 3-2. and two. And now on 3-2, do you put any thought into sending the runners here with one away? Here's the 3-2 pitch. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Well, this is a scroll he's taken five times in this series now. That slow walk back to the dugout after getting punched out. After a while, these things, they start to wear on you. You've got to try to keep the mindset that every at-bat's a new opportunity, but most of the time, that's easier said than done. Number 35 will dig in. One for two, including a home run thus far. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. Two men are on with two men out. He's set, now the pitch. Got him to go after that one, and he's in a quick hold, 0-2. And, and he's really going to have to fight now. you got to take a little bit out of your swing and find a way to put this ball in play. Comes set, now the pitch. Now about a 58-foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. Still now on one and two, you don't have to make the perfect pitch out there. The count is still well in your favor on the mound. Here's the one-two. 
And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Now this needs to be a strike here on two and two because if not, now all of a sudden the runners are off with the next pitch. Here he comes on two and two. This one misses and that'll fill the count here. Three and two with two away. Some anxious moments now in that first base dugout. Yeah, he cannot be liking what he's seeing, that's for sure. Full count offering on its way. Goes the other way as this is line to left. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. We'll see eight, nine, and one do up in the bottom of inning number six. Chattanooga leads it here, two to one. Miguel Pineda will stand in for the fourth time now. Still looking for his first hit of the ball game. And he's not the only one either. This has been a great pitching performance so far, and they've had these guys chasing their tails all game long. Two down, runners at first and second. He's set, now the pitch. Curveball hit on the ground to shortstop. On to second for the force out of the side is retired. A couple of walks, but no damage. More in a moment on the show, the Friday Night Showcase. Johnny Tanner will try again. Struck out swinging his last time through. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. Two to one our score. Here's the two one pitch. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. A little bad luck there defensively. If that's hit at an infielder, it's a double play. But instead, now you're in hot water here with one away. Miguel Pineda will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. Our pitcher's duel continues here. 2 to 1 score as we play the 8th. The 1-1. One, one. And this is hit hard on the ground at first. The second for 1. And the relay won't nearly be in time as he's there easily. This is always a tough throw here for a first baseman coming off the bag. You gotta make sure that you don't just throw the ball right into the runner's back heading down to second base. Here he takes just a little extra time to make sure that he makes a good throw. And they're gonna settle for just one at second. Catfish Brown will stand in needing to get things started here in the top of the ninth. Catfish Brown. Swing and a hard hit ball to second. And this is through into right field, so the time runs aboard to kick off the inning. And at this point, I don't think you could expect anything less than a two hit ball game from this guy. I mean, he's been as hot as anybody lately, and he comes through again here. Jason Rogers will step in with the tying run on first, so he's got to concentrate and work on getting on base here. Here's the first offering. And they'll play for the tie here as he puts this one down. Throw goes to first here, so it works just as they drew it up. And now the possible tying run is in scoring position in second. Well, pretty clearly just playing for the tie right here. And it's a nice job there of getting the punt down. So the tying run's up to scoring position now with just one out. Number 35 will work now on getting that tying run home from second.
Now here's the first pitch. And the slider is low and inside as he just about got him there. And now the wheels spin in that first base dugout. Oh, that man right there has got to be sweating bullets. Hard to say I blame him at all. The next pitch. 2-0 and oh now. Well, he almost hit him on the last pitch, and he's showing he doesn't care. He's coming right back inside. Runner at second here with one man out. Here's the 2-0. And he misses again with it here. It's 3-0 now. Green light here on 3-0. Yeah, I want my run producer swinging the bat. It's my number seven hitter. Probably not. Now the 3 0 pitch. And that misses ball four. So with one out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could get them out of the inning. And he may be the closer, but he is opening up a real can of worms here. Putting another guy on base with a walk, I'm, that's not going to help things. Hector Gomez will step in now in a big spot here in a game as close as this one. And a chance at redemption, too, because he hasn't done much through his first three plate appearances, but he could make up for all of that with a base hit right here. First pitch coming. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. They're definitely making him work out there. He came in trying to shut the door, and he has not had an easy time of it. Here's a 1 0. And 2 0 now as this misses below the knees. And one thing you can't do here, you cannot lose him and load the bases. He's still got a couple pitches to play with, but I'd expect this one to be somewhere in the strike zone. Hitters count 2 and 0. 2 0 is a fastball, not close. He's behind 3 and 0 now. In danger now of a second walk out of the bullpen. Not exactly providing relief. He's got to find it here somehow. Here it comes, 3-0. And he'll just make him throw one over here, 3-1. and one. Yeah, a much better pitch there than the one he threw on 2-0. and oh. Now the 3-1. On the ground is short. One there. Back to first. It's a double play right when he needed it. And this ball game is over. Not exactly a lockdown ninth inning, but they wind up stranding the tying run at second and the go-ahead run at first to preserve the victory. This one, definitely a low-scoring affair as we get one last look at our final line score. Well, you always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went above and beyond in this one. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, he wound up turning things over to his bullpen in the ninth, but still, eight strong innings for him. He was hitting his spots all game long. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners, Eric Karros and Steve Lyons, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of ML Catfish Brown. We'll stand in here hoping to at least put a ball in play here this inning. First offering on the way.